Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the very first mission to the new Icarus expansion, New Frontiers. The mission's called Nomad Exploration and you need to have a required technology level of tier 2 to access this mission. So the requirements for this mission is build yourself a small base of operations, unlock, build and place a short range radio at the crafting bench. If you play this on normal mode, you'll get a reward of 250 Ren and 50 Exotics and you have 3 real life days to complete this mission. There's one item I'd recommend you drop with straight away and that is the Beast Module. This is going to cost you 500 Ren and 250 Exotics to research and 250 Ren to craft. So the Beast Module is a bio entity analyst and scanning technology. A handheld device that scans nearby creatures for analysts and locates their weaknesses. You're going to need the usual for this mission. Your 2 tank, your canteen. I'm going to take 2 mass dampener modules and I'm going to be wearing the Hawk environmental suit along with a gatherer's backpack and for me I'm archer build so I always take the archer's backpack with me as well and I'll be taking the beast module along with a repair hammer, my sickle, my Lockwell Martinez bow, my Ventura knife, my Dyer's axe and my Neve's pickaxe and another pickaxe just in case my current one breaks. Once you're happy with your loadout just go ahead and click confirm. Alright so once you've landed you listed to all the audio just grab all this stuff out your dropship. As you will notice there is different weather patterns on Prometheus as well. We've just gotten scattered hail in the grasslands. As this is where you'll be landing for your first ever drop right here. So once you've landed you want to go ahead and build yourself a little 2x2 two two shelter. I've just built mine right next to where my drop pods landed. And inside you're going to need a campfire as usual, a bed, a crafting bench and a stone furnace. Now I've crafted these before I've gone to the destination because the text at the beginning of the mission said you need to be at least a tier 2. So once you've built that you want to head over to where your drop pod is to collect the chip. If you want to save yourself a little bit of time as you can see my drop pod is on the other side of this little river here. So what I've did is build a little ramp up over the river here just so I can get up onto the hillside. Now I can easily access the pod which is up here. Oh, and it looks like we've got a little mini boss here. You can either take it out or sneak past it. Either way, we need that chip. So this animal here is a drac. You see plenty of them in the grasslands. So go to the drop pod and get the microchip out. Now that you need to craft a short range radio, you're gonna need iron. Luckily for you, there's a cave right next to our drop ship. Right here. So you land here. This is where the cave is. Once you have your 10 wood, 8 rope and 15 iron ingots, you want to go ahead and craft the short range radio. Alright, let's go ahead and place this outside. You will notice that the chip remains in your inventory. You can just go and store this away somewhere now, you won't need it anymore. Now that you've built the OEM, a new simple pod will drop down and this is where you got to collect the crop plot from and the tomato seed. Now you want to grow a tomato. A tomato is a new item which is introduced in the New Frontiers expansion. Let's just go ahead and deploy that here. Put the tomato on your hotbar and plant it there. Good start. You can go ahead and water your crop plot as well. While we're waiting for the tomato to grow, this is what it looks like in the world and you only can get them in the grasslands. Once your tomato crop plot is grown to just over half, you'll get a messaging game from the AI telling you that you need to go and rescue Daisy because the owner has died. So you need to go and get Daisy and bring it back to the base. This is the location on the map where Daisy is. If you're a bow user, I'd recommend crafting a whole bunch of arrows like stone or bone because you're going to have to travel some distance here yeah, to get to Daisy and there's going to be quite a few hostiles along the route. Your sample has grown to an acceptable maturity and is ready for processing. Please place it in the OES pod for retrieval. So before you go and collect Daisy, I'd recommend you wait until your tomato grows, especially if you don't have any talents in farming because you don't want this to wither. So you just want to go ahead and harvest this. 
a new portal come down. Place your tomatoes in there. In open world mode now, you can call down your workshop item loadout without having the need to go back up, collect them and then drop back down. You can't use that system though while you're in a mission if you've done it the old way. You only can do it through open world mode. Now it's time to go and get Daisy. I would recommend you emptying out your inventory as much as you can. Only take food and arrows with you. Because if you're playing this on open world mode this mission, you're going to get some very good resources from this location. But if you're only doing the mission the old fashioned way, you'll not have to salvage the base as you'll be going back up to the station. Once you get closer to the daisy location, be careful, there might be crocodiles about. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's daisy. So what you'll need to do on Daisy is claim the ownership. Now you'll see a new location on the map up here. Now this is a protection mission. Daisy will be attacked during this mission by these Drax. This is why I say you're going to need plenty of arrows. So all you've got to do is protect Daisy and lead her to the other location. She is a bit slow, so you just got to wait up for her. Once you've led Daisy home to this location, you can either have her follow you back to your base or just leave her here. If you are playing on open world mode, you will want to loot all of this base. You want to be collapsing it all and taking it back with you. Because for example, you have a rustic bed here. You've got a fire pit. You also got a stone furnace, which will have some scoria in it. Shaped obsidian, some iron and some raw obsidian as well, along with an obsidian pickaxe and a bone javelin and a few other items. It's the obsidian pickaxe you're going to need because this is exceptionally good. This is a brand new item introduced to New Frontiers. It has one primary stat on it, which is very important, plus 30% chance to smelt when mining. This is a very good pickaxe, but you need to be careful with this pickaxe. If you accidentally hit your wood structure, for example, in your base, it has a chance of setting it on fire. Along with the walls as well and the roof. Let's just go ahead and show you these. You will get Scoria roof and Scoria walls. These are now significantly better than stone. So you do want to pull this base down. So once you've looted something from inside this base, for example, when you take something out of this container, it'll trigger the mission complete and that's the mission completed. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Do make sure you check out the rest of the missions in my New Frontiers playlist.